Till now, the Indian Army had to deploy its heavier T-72 and T-90 tanks, which are not ideally suited for high altitude areas. In a significant advancement for the Indian Armed Forces stationed along the border with China in Ladakh, the Defence Research and Development Organisation and private sector firm Larsen and Tubro have unveiled the indigenous light tank Zorawar on 6th of July. This milestone, achieved in less than 24 months from the date of sanction, marks a pivotal development in India's defence capabilities. The Zorawar tank has reportedly successfully completed its initial internal trials at LNT's heavy engineering plant in Hazira, Gujarat. During its unveiling at LNT's heavy engineering plant, the Zorawar light tank showcased its ability to navigate a 20 degree incline with ease. The tank is engineered to handle inclines exceeding 30 degrees. The need for light tanks became evident during the 2020 standoff with Chinese troops in eastern Ladakh. The Indian Army had to deploy its heavier T-72 and T-90 tanks, which are not ideally suited for high altitude areas. Recognizing this gap, the Army initiated Project Zorawar, aiming to induct approximately 350 light tanks weighing around 25 tons. These tanks are designed for rapid deployment and maneuverability in mountainous regions, providing the same firepower as regular tanks but with enhanced mobility and situational awareness. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. The Zorawa tanks are equipped with advanced technologies such as artificial intelligence, integration of tactical surveillance drones, loitering munitions, and an active protection system. These features ensure a high degree of situational awareness and protection against anti-tank guided missiles and projectiles. Additionally, the tanks are amphibious, making them versatile for operations in riverine regions and even across the Pangong So Lake in eastern Ladakh. The Zorawa tanks have undergone initial track trials and upgrades were made based on the feedback received. They are now set for desert trials in coordination with the Indian Army, followed by trials in the high altitude areas of Ladakh. If all goes well, the tanks could be inducted into the Indian Army by 2027. The induction of the Zorawa tanks will significantly bolster the Indian Army's capabilities in high altitude warfare. The lightweight and agile design of these tanks will allow for better maneuverability and quick deployment in the limited spaces of mountainous terrains. This mobility, coupled with advanced firepower, will enable the Army to effectively counter the Chinese deployment of similar armored columns along the LSE. The ongoing modernization of the Indian Army's armored wing, driven by the lessons learned from past conflicts and the current geopolitical landscape, underscores the urgency of developing indigenous light tanks. The Zorawa tanks, named after the legendary military general Zorawar Singh Khaluria, are expected to fill this critical gap. The deployment of Zorawa tanks is crucial in maintaining operational dominance over adversaries like China and Pakistan, both of which have already inducted technologically advanced tanks. The indigenous development of these tanks aligns with India's strategic goals of self-reliance and technological advancement in defense. Moreover, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine conflict has disrupted global supply chains for defense components, further emphasizing the need for India to develop and maintain its own indigenous fleet of light tanks. The Indian Army has successfully deployed light tanks in several key engagements in the past. During the Battle of Kohima in World War II, Stuart tanks played a crucial role. In the Indo-Pak War of 1947-48, light tanks were instrumental in the battles of Naushera, Jangar, Rajori, and most notably, at Zozila. The AMX-13 tanks were deployed at Chushul and Bondila in 1962 and at Chum in 1965. The amphibious PT-76 tanks led the advance to Dekka during the 1971 war, showcasing the versatility and effectiveness of light tanks in diverse combat scenarios. Jai Hind!